Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. The first disclaimer for this video is that it's not a negative video. Second thing is that, that if you watch this video with an open heart and mind, honestly you will be able to save a lot of time and money and not go for the false aspirations and channelize your energy in the right direction. This video is not me asking you not to come to Canada in any sort of way. It's me giving you three main points where you need to re-evaluate yourself, understand whether you are taking the right step or not. And if not, then give it some time, give it a term more and take the final step. Just a small note that in case if any of you thinks that I'm in this video, I'm going to say don't come to Canada if you get homesick, if you cannot tolerate the cold weather or if you smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol, I'm not going to say things like that because they make no sense, honestly, because those are not the criteria where you decide whether you want to move from one continent to another. So my first point of where actually I advise you not to come to Canada on these points are that if you're coming to a shady university or a shady college that has not much credit or, you know, is not much acclaimed around here, because when you do that, when you go for a course that has no value or when you go to a college that is literally built into like a building and has no value, the education you get after two years, how much ever hard work you do, whatever you learn, after two years, the recruiters don't even consider you because you are from that college which they have not even heard about. So I would definitely ask you to suggest your consultants to look into more proper university and colleges if at all you are doing that and in case if they are just suggesting you colleges so they can earn their commission and everything don't blindly go for it do your own personal research coming to canada is not the most important thing the most important thing is that after you come over here how are you making your living and what are you going to do post you get your degree and whether you will be a resident or not because if you're coming into a course that has no value you won't get a job and even if you do like a good course or something like a valid course like mb or something from a college that has literally no value or no one has heard about it google maps has not seen that place there is a good chance that you won't even land a job so personally, I've seen a lot of colleges and universities that gives out MBA even without the student having like a bachelor's degree, relevant work experience or GMAT, GRE scores and the IELTS score is like 6, 6.5. So you may get admits like that because your consultant has recommended you or they have got their bonuses out of that, as simple as that. But you won't be able to make your ends meet if you come over here because Honestly, when a recruiter from a good company or even a very regular company takes you, they're going to do a background check on you. And even if they don't do a background check, they're going to ask for your relevant work experiences and everything. And at times they will just look at the name of the college that you are coming from and just reject you from that point onwards. So they have like a bandwidth of certain colleges and universities they take in consideration for their jobs. If you're not in that list, you're not even considered for like 99% of jobs over here. The other thing that you need to consider before coming over to Canada is that you might have to start from scratch irrespective of what you are doing in your home country you may not be able to do the same thing immediately so you might have to do some minimum wage jobs to you know stay afloat and there's nothing wrong in that in fact it's a new experience working in restaurants being you know drivers and working in cafes and call centers it is a new experience you learn something each day you don't even know how you know physically strong and patient you are till you work in those conditions so think about it once if you are someone who does not want to work that then it might get a little difficult or if your family is providing for you well so be it i am someone who refuses to take from my home i love being independent i know my parents are going to watch this but i never 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 take money from my home so for me it was to get any job at any cost so why am i exactly saying this is because a couple of days back in community tab i posted like a post kind of thing that do you want to see a video on part-time jobs in as uber drivers lyft drivers and there was this one guy i i absolutely loathe such people and he commented that i'm not skipping continents to work as a driver so I was like, okay, <laughs> that kind of attitude is not going to get you anywhere. That kind of attitude is not going to get you food. So I cannot deal with such people. So anyways, if you have that kind of mentality, do not come over here. It's that simple. The final thing that you need to consider before coming over here is that if you have any severe medical conditions, then you might need to get them checked and rectified or treated from your home country before coming over here to Canada because once you come over here, it gets a 
very expensive b the waiting around time is a lot so even when you get like appointments or something you get it like after a week or you know you get it after five six days and you have to wait for again five to six hours so that's a lot so try to you know get everything treated from your home country and then come over here also when you come over here when you fall terribly sick because you did not seek treatment back home just get like a checkup or something done when you come over here it gets very difficult for you to you know study constantly travel from one place to another cook for yourself and even do a job so it's better that you know you take care of those things when you're home you have the time to do it and it's really cheap in india like i come from india that's why i say things are like really really inexpensive over there then comparison then in compared to over here <laughs> sorry just look into it once get the treatments done and then come over here your medical condition should never be the reason that you don't come to canada or any other place or travel around just look into it that i hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching